It's going to be a little bit of a different sort of video. Uh, normally we go for a walk and uh, I explain what the situation is, but I thought it might be an important day today, which is March the 14th, 2021, to mark our anniversary of being locked down. So in Spain, on the 13th of March last year, we were locked down. So we've now been locked down in some, one way or another for 12 months. We've had 12 months of this pandemic. Actually started uh, a couple of days earlier for us because we were in the school and we were told on the Thursday that uh, the children were to come in on Friday and that would be their last day. So the children came into school, uh, they collected their books and all their materials and then we went, they went off and on the Monday that followed uh, they started the online lessons. So for me it meant um, coming home, setting up my computer and teaching from, from home. I, I used to do classes so I was recording lots of videos and uh, our lockdown, lockdown was really very severe to start with. We were not allowed to go out of the house uh, unless you were going to the, see the doctor or you were going to do some essential shopping. The first day that I left the house I was stopped by the police. The police asked me where I was going and uh, fortunately I had an excuse. I was going to do some essential shopping. Um, but everyone was very, very nervous to begin with. At the beginning you weren't even allowed to go out for exercise, so the only people that were out in the street were those that were walking dogs. So there was a big uptake and people were uh, taking dogs from the, the dog pounds. As time went on the, the restrictions did become a little bit easier and uh, we saw the number of cases go up and then go down. And then when the summer started to arrive it was really strange because as summer arrived the tourists didn't arrive and Mallorca was the quietest we've ever seen it in the summer. On some of the days we would go to big beaches in Palma Nova, in Magaluf or, or Santa Ponsa and there would be nobody on the beach at all. Even the locals were not going to the beach at that time even though the weather was perfect. So the summer was really a different summer for everybody and a lot of the businesses couldn't open, they were closed. Um, a lot of the hotels, most of the hotels stayed closed. There were virtually no flights here, so that was something else that was strange. Um, in the summertime we're used to seeing uh, an aeroplane taking off or landing virtually every minute and uh, last summer it was a strange sight to actually see an aeroplane take off. When the um, end of the summer holidays came, so September for us, um, we started back to school um, as normal, um, well not quite as normal because um, we had to have social distancing. The children all have to sit at their own desks, they're not allowed to sit with anyone else and uh, the children have to wear a mask all day. That is all except the youngest of the children, uh, the youngest ones in the kindergarten, they didn't have to wear a mask, they still don't have to wear a mask uh, and you can't keep little children socially distanced. But it was a really quite a concerning and worrying time for everyone, we didn't really know how, how long we were going to be able to manage and we did have one or two cases, the first case happened to be in a kindergarten class um, and so a kindergarten class had to be quarantined turned out to be a negative test, a negative result in the end so there was no problem. And then other cases throughout the year we've had odd ones here and there where members of a family uh, have either caught the virus or been in contact with someone who has the virus and, and therefore had to quarantine. But no classes have had to quarantine and so classes have more or less gone on as normal. So normal isn't actually normal because the, the children were not normally around, allowed to move out of the classroom. So year seven, eight and nine had their classes in the classroom even though it was a science class uh, and so experiments have continued to be done by videos. And that's what I was doing before so it was just really a continuation. I was making videos of experiments, I was doing experiments at home. Here on my terrace I was doing experiments. Uh, with what little apparatus I might have at home, sort of kitchen sort of experiments. Uh, and so when we get, went back to class in September I just carried on videoing uh, my experiments. So I would take the children a video of an experiment uh, and some of you may have seen some of those on, on the YouTube channel. 
So as time's gone by, we've uh, we went to Christmas, and uh, that was a strange Christmas as well. They they eased all of the restrictions so that people could actually meet up, families could meet up, and that meant that there was another surge in numbers. Um, but the restrictions came back, and we've now we're now into March, and the numbers have fallen tremendously here in Mallorca. Uh, at one point, they were talking about getting the number below 150 per 100,000. And then they said, well, let's get it below 100 per 100,000. And now we are here in the Baleares less than 50. Uh, and that is remarkable. So we're considered very low risk. And uh, last Thursday that was recognized in Germany when the German government said that the Baleares and the Canary Islands were such low risks that German travelers could travel to Mallorca for their holidays now. And we still have some restrictions, so it's not straight, as straightforward as just getting on a plane and going. So if they come, they will, they will still have to do a, a PCR test or prove that they don't have the virus. And uh, the, the, the Minister for Tourism is very much uh, pushing a, a vaccine uh, passport, which has been mooted in, in the UK as well. And so what's going to happen for this summer, well, we still don't know, but um, by then most of the people in the Baleares will have been uh, vaccinated. I've not been vaccinated yet. Um, we were told that we were going to get vaccinated at the beginning of this month, uh, but then they didn't have the Pfizer vaccine. And because I'm a little bit older than, than many, uh, the over 55s have been told that they need the Pfizer vaccine rather than the AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, and so we're going to have to wait until April. Um, but I'm patient and my life is, is not so bad here. We can go out for a walk, the bars are open, restaurants are open, at least in the daytime up until five o'clock. So from next week, uh, the bars and the restaurants will be allowed to open in the evening, in the inside not in the evenings, on the inside, so they'll be able to open their inside, all with very limited numbers. Um, we've been able to go to the theatre, um, we go to, to see the orchestra perform, and we've really enjoyed their concerts. Um, they, they are, again, they're limited numbers, only 50% occupancy. Um, one thing we are not being able to do is to see uh, live football matches. So all of this season, the, the football matches that we were watching, we used to go to the bar, uh, but then the bars were closed, and now we're, we still can't go to the bars because most of the matches are in the evening, and so we can't, uh, we can't go and watch them there. And it seems strange, actually, if we can go and watch an orchestra perform with a 50% capacity inside, uh, but we can't go to a football ground which has got a, a 20,000 plus uh, occupancy or possible number of seats and uh, we, they can't fit 5,000 in there or, or some number. It's a shame um, but again it's just something we've got to live with so we try to watch as many of the matches on the, the television as we can uh, to support our team and one day we'll be able to go back to see Real Mallorca playing again. One thing we've not found easy is not being in contact with our family, um, not being able to visit. So normally in the summer months when it's really hot we go to, back to the UK and we spend time with our family. That's not been possible so it's over a year now since we've been back to the UK and we've actually uh, been with our family. We use FaceTime and uh, so we can actually see them. We do, we've had Zoom meetings, we've even played games uh, over the internet with Zoom. Uh, and that's been great, but it's not quite the same as being able to give your children and grandchildren and mothers and family a hug. Uh, so that's something we really have missed. But hopefully that will come soon and uh, we'll be back to the new normal. And that, I'm hoping, is going to be happening sometime over the summer. But everything is a question mark at the moment and uh, we'll all just have to wait and see. So I hope you're all keeping well and uh, it's a different sort of video but uh, it gives you a little bit of insight about what my life has been like over the past year and how I feel for the future. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.